Hey everybody, Jolly Pulley here, the Joel you can trust, back with the Walking Dead Rose 5 video. Featuring the wardrobe event, which deals with us gathering green coats, purple coats, emerald earrings, more purple coats, and a hilarious amount of green coats because winter is coming and everyone gets a purple and green coat. I don't know whether to think that Carl wants to fashion these emerald earrings or some sick bastard wants to trade Carl for 300 earrings. If this was the case, I would have to turn a blind eye here to this child trafficking because, I'm sorry Carl, you were gifted with UJP when attacking. So sorry. So this video will focus more on the museum collection and what you need to do to complete it, as I will be giving Carl his own video, as he damn well deserves it. This event is broken down into five collections, each with a reward that leads into the next tier of collection. It all starts at collection one and ends on collection five, with the final prize being a five-star ascendable Carl. So this is what has to happen. You are going to start off on collection one and you are going to have to count your way up and I'm afraid there will not be any skipping as it looks like the main source of currency will be green coats. Purple coats are supplied as reward which you will keep getting more with every collection you complete despite them being removed for completing the collection. We were given 10 purple coats free at the start as there is a glitch in the matrix but with those we should be okay. Collection one Needing 10 green coats gives us 10 purple coats, and then we are done with collection one. Feels good, man. So onward to collection two. Spend 50 green coats and 10 purple coats to get 20 purple coats. Now, if we didn't get the free 10 purple coats, we would not have been able to get past the next part. And you will see here in a second. You will need to do this again to get 40 purple coats to complete this collection and move on to the next. Now. Since we are sitting on 40 right now, since we were given 10, if we were not, we would have 30 purple coats right now, which we would not be able to do the next part of the collection, which requires 40 purple coats. So collection three is we spend 200 green coats and 40 purple coats, and then in return, we get 80 purple coats. Seeing as the next collection does require 120, we will need to spend 40 of our 80. And once we complete this collection a second time, we will have 80 more added to our 40, which is going to give us 120 purple coats. We do not have to complete this collection unless for some reason you really want to. I am also not sure that you could come back and complete this collection unless purple coats are tournament rewards or offered in the bags or crates in the shop. Collections four and five are one and the same as when you complete collection four, you will automatically complete collection five. We will need 400 green coats, and at this point, if we have exactly 120 purple coats, we will get zero in return. Which, unless purple coats are offered in the shop or events, it will make getting the third part of Collection 3 pretty hard to do. <laughs> Almost impossible. So now let's take a step back and let's tally these green coats up. The total amount of green coats we need to complete the collections needed from 1 to 5, if we were to only collect green coats, would be... 910 green coats. I don't know what it is, but talking about all these coats reminds me of talking about some sort of a revolutionary war or something. The red coats, the purple coats, the green coats. <laughs> Whatever. Currently, the only way to gain green coats is every 10 pulls you do in the premiere wheel and in the bags and crates in the shop. Are they only going to be able to be obtained through these two? I personally have no idea. I would think and hope <laughs> once this event has seven days remaining, I think that will start to intertwine with the tournaments that will give green coats as rewards. I don't even, this is still just a guess, but if that was the case, I can see them either being in the first three milestones, but at the same time, I kind of feel like they would be given out dictating on where you rank. Like first place will get a certain amount, second will get it their own amount, etc. You know, that whole, that whole shindig. Let's just see how many 10 and 40 pulls you would need to get 910 green coats if premier pulling was the way to go. Seeing as you get 30 per 10, it would come out to be roughly 31 10 pulls or 30 10 pulls and you would just get that last remaining from bags and crates in the shop. If you're going to do it straight 40, 8 40 pulls, you're good to go. Since Carl is the end prize, I think it is worth to give him the spotlight just for a little bit. In a general sense, Carl is good. Yes, Carl is extremely useful, I feel, on attack. I think going up against ranged teams with buffing yellow and blues, especially blues, since they have double attack weapons, will allow you to slap them up. Going further into the future, I think this will kind of 
go into Andrea teams. I think Andrea will probably have the same leadership as this Carl, but without Yellow being able to benefit as a leader. Carl, I think, will open a nice setup for your roster with double commands. So, with that said, I will leave any other information for Carl in his own video. Thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed the video and made you laugh before you do anything positive, please give a nice karate chop that a like and subscribe button, and make sure to leave a comment down below. The support's greatly appreciated. Other than that, I will catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye!